Welcome to the second segment, episode 185, Sold with Updike Pew. I'm Jeff Updike. I'm Weston Pew. And today we have decided, because of that wonderful home we just featured on Vanderbilt in the neighborhood of Greenland Hills, we wanted to talk about the history of this neighborhood and what makes it one of the treasures inside of Dallas. Greenland Hills was really started, uh, gosh, was the, in the 1920s where there was a, a part of a farm that was bought mm -hmm. and subdivided out. And once it was subdivided out, they began selling sections of the neighborhood to different builders. And it was two brothers that decided that they wanted to do this. And the most interesting thing is that the concept of the uh, architecture was to have more of a European feel because so many of the buyers were returning from World War One, and they were accustomed to this. And so you will see as you go through this neighborhood, some of the most charming, amazing homes. There's lots and lots of architecture. Mm -hmm. I always call it um, Craftsman Bungalow. And I guess I'm wrong because it has so much European flair to it. There, the, yeah, there, there's kind of a crossover between some of that. So I, I can definitely see why, why you would, why you call it that. Yeah. And so if you're not from here, if you're from here, let's talk about who loves to move into this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times what we see is we see people who transition from uptown into this because it's a natural prog progression. And then a lot of times we see the downsizers. That's true. And you know, one of the other really cool things about this neighborhood with, uh, was that Greenland Hills was built all at one time. Yeah. And the, and many neighborhoods were not built that way. They were, they were built in phases or different sections of them, but the owners or the, the, the people that developed Greenland Hills wanted it all built at one time. And because of the uniqueness of this neighborhood, there is also a conservation district that has been overlaid on this. And so a conservation does a great job of preserving the natural integrity. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you're comfortable living inside of a conservation district, right? Yeah. Because it can get a little sticky. They can control everything from windows to the material that you use on the outside even down to the paint colors and the amount of front and backyard that you have fenced. And this is within walking distance to the Knox Henderson uh, district that we talked about earlier that has such an array of restaurants and entertainment venues, live music, beer halls. There's just everything there. One of the main streets that this neighborhood... Apple store. What was it? In an Apple store. In an Apple store. <laughs> <laughs> One of the other things, too, is that this neighborhood backs up against Green, Green, uh, Greenville. Mm -hmm. And Greenville is a very historic street in the Dallas area and is home to, I think, one of the longest running St. Patty's Day parades. And so if you're into these, in these gatherings, there's tons of them in this neighborhood. It truly does feel like a very small old town neighborhood here. It really does. And if you, if there is any other uh, questions you have about Greenland Hills or any other information you like, please give us a call. We'd be happy to reach the, to provide that to you. Gosh, I'm losing my blah, 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 blah today. And with that, we'll be back next week, same time. And remember, we want to be realtors for life.